But I already now think we are getting a bit bigger step from the hind leg. Yes, him going forward down. He's a bit high in the rhythm, but never mind just now. He's going into the Sackeln, as in German it's called. And that makes, of course, the step very short when he's making Sackeln. So therefore you must try to get him so calm in the rhythm as possible that he will make a long and relaxed step. But that's impossible just now. So I already see that you have advanced a lot. When the horse is getting upset, when the horse is nervous, of course, I see the problem much easier than when a horse is relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then he's mm -hmm. making quarter in instead. Straightening up from the inside leg, from your inside leg, thinking a tiny idea on shoulder in. Think a tiny idea uh, in your body on shoulder in. Yes, good. There he is, yes, good, good. There he comes. There he comes. There the walk is starting. And now he's out of it. Yeah, exactly. Let's make a tiny idea of shoulder in, just to see the, the transition, just to see him put his inside hind leg more to the weight. Yes, a bit more, a bit more. He's still stepping with his inside hind leg. Uh, yes, he must step a bit more towards the outside front leg. Now he's doing quarter in again. That's our shoulder in again. Try to make, uh, he's still stepping in the trail of the inside front leg, make more shoulder in, even more shoulder in. Yes, let's have a look at the shoulder in. No, you must listen, my, my dear. No, he's still making quarter in. He's still making quarter in and whatever. Make a shoulder in from the inside leg. He must listen to the inside leg. Your inside leg should take your inside hind leg. Now, now. Yes, he's getting a bit short in the step. No, you must listen to an inside leg, my boy. Yes, he's doing beautiful quarter in. <laughs> That's a quality too, so we are not uh, angry with him doing something good, but he should not do it against us. Then let's have a look at the trot. Now he has waited a long time. Take care that he's not running, because then he's stepping a bit short. So as, as slow as possible. As slow as possible from the rhythm and as fast as possible from the uh, tempo. So we must divide tact and tempo. A slower tact and, a, uh, and first we will take the tempo with the tact down as slow as possible, as slow as possible. So without getting the nose behind the hand. A bit more bending, a bit longer outside rein. But we are stretching his nose in the bending forward. And there we need a bit shoulder in to make him stretch forward his nose. He's running too much. And then try to go very carefully slow forward without getting quicker in the rhythm. So you should be as slow in the rhythm as possible and going forward down with a slow rhythm. In the right bending. Now we have a left bending. Yes, so we're in all more area. No, we should keep the right bending. Longer outside rein. Longer outside rein, yes. And then you go a tiny idea forward with your body and see if he will follow your body from the inside leg forward down, stretching his nose forward. We try to change the hand to the circle and see how he is going on the left hip. That was his difficulty hip, now we are going on the better hip. With the left hind leg, he's swinging forward in the left bending, longer outside rein, shorter inside, yes, yeah, so and he's bending, have the standing. Good, and we try to go forward down. Yes, good. And as long as he can without running away. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the difficulty we have. So if we give him free in the front, we must trust him. And we cannot always trust him. Yes, good. There we are. There we are. Now we're getting the hind legs more and more working forward. And uh, the tempo and the tact to fit together. That he's not going quicker in the tact, as, as, uh, in the rhythm, as he's going in the tempo. And as, uh, the quicker we go, the slower we want the tempo, the tact. The slower we go, the higher we want the tact. But it can also be too high or too slow, of course. 
Yeah.